Okay, today we're going to be bringing you some more Borka because everybody loves Borka. I'm going to try, I think I'm going to try and double half Borka spam. But I am playing like this Rhino MLRS deck first, so who knows? We'll see how it goes. I don't know if I'll actually be able to double half. Building online. Unit but I'm, I'm Rhino opening into MLRS most games, I think. That's generally my game plan. See if the opponent's double half. Yes, sir. Not yet. Awaiting Flamer orders. opening. I guess Unit I'll make a second ready. Rhino. I think that's fine. What did Kenny do? Kenny knows what he did. Ooh. I'm gonna yes, just 2v1 these bikes with my Rhino whilst I wait for an MLRS. I actually was a little surprised at how quickly he has these things. Like, this is this, I guess this is the same price as this. But then he had both of these bikes before. Man, maybe it's just because the bikes move faster. Let's get another Rhino. We're going to need a new one. I assume he's making Banshee now? Or Inferno? I guess he can Jade my MLRS. Giga Cannon. Okay. Pretty easy for me to kill with MLRS. Let's get a second harvester and make some bork forks. Some borky boys. He just surrendered? Alright, never mind then. You are victorious. Three, two, one. Oh, same matchup. That is probably true, Omni. That is probably what people mean when they say that it's slower. Because I used to play a lot of games where I'd end the game of like several hundred Tiberium by making good trades and such. And that doesn't happen as much anymore for me. Like nowadays, I end the game with like 120 instead of 250 Tiberium. Make the combat slower. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it makes no, has no impact on the combat speed at all. Anyway, I'm not going to get into an argument about it. Like, someone somewhere said the game is slow and a bunch of people have just, like, hopped on the bandwagon. Being like, yep, slow, that's what the game is. Even when it's, like, actually the same as it always was. I should just do this. There's no way the Giga clears the pads. If all the missile fires. This is the one advantage the Giga does have against the MLRS. It has the ability to simply shoot the blocking unit and, uh, and then splash damage onto the MLRS, whereas the MLRS does nothing to the blocking unit because it has no anti-infantry damage and cannot splash. I actually don't even want that MLRS now that I think about it. Although if he's not going to quit this time, I should uh, I should try and balk him. It's going to be fun. Well, there's the Banshee I was expecting last game. Got him. He just oh, come on, man. I want to balk. <laughs> Absolute nightmare. I think the point Omni is making, Renardin, is that if you don't lose your pit bulls constantly, you can still make plenty of them. It's only if you're like making a pit bull and jack, like you just go pit bull, pit bull, pit bull, pit bull, pit bull, and constantly losing them, then yeah, that's gonna mean you can't make as many pit bulls. Um, I don't think I want to push in first missile. That's usually the worst thing you can do against uh, no half MG is is throw away your army. So I think I'm gonna make two harvesters and try and spam balkers against him. It might be too slow. We'll see. I, I haven't I haven't tested this before. 
I don't know if this will be too slow. He also might just like iron cannon the first porker. Because although he's no half, he is making absolutely nothing. So it's not like his money is under pressure at all. Let's find out. <laughs> Get balked, my guy. <laughs> Just actually killed everything. Oh, he's Harvester now? Interesting. Right, this guy got proper balked though. Rarely has a man been balked as hard as this guy just got balked. That was a serious balking. I think Balker needs to move faster. Like, I know that air units all being really, really quick is, uh, is a problem for the game. Because it just means you end up with spam. But the Borker is quite expensive and it literally has to fly over things to damage them. So if it is the same speed as the thing it's targeting, it does zero damage. And that's a pretty big issue. Like, it's expensive. It's kind of fragile for its cost. Like, 100 really is not... Like, it, it is expensive and it doesn't live that long. It has to take damage to move in because it, it, it literally has to chase enemy units down. So if, it, if it's if you make a balker and you try and chase down something like a pit bull and they just run away and you do no damage to them that's really bad like that's just the unit is heinous when that happens so it really needs to be fast enough to actually catch things yeah, I don't care at all about my harvester. You go for it, man. Actually, would he do me a favor by killing my harvester? Because I have 330 tier. Oh, that's sad. Am I gonna lose because I can't kill this orca in time? Oh, it was close. I really actually do need to lose this harvester. Hey, look at that. I'm killing one pit... I'm killing one drone for every two pit bull shots. Because they're firing exactly the same time. So they're both hitting the same model. I've never seen that happen with pit bulls before. It's the bike bug, except with pit bulls. Mission accomplished. Battlefield control. B boy, oh my god, that's a name I haven't seen in forever. Building online. Unit ready. Ready for action. Yes, sir. I'm on acknowledged. <laughs> this is a classic. This is a classic a classic game of rivals here. Oh, it's an MLRS mirror. How exciting. Um, I don't know what, what to do in an MLRS mirror. I haven't really played a lot of these. Obviously, missiles are going to be important, and so is the Orca Bomber. Unit ready. Rocket moving up. Ready to launch. Oh, shit. Okay. I didn't expect that to happen. Fair enough. I thought that mine was setting up enough in advance that it would at least trade. But his just managed to move in, set up, and shoot and kill mine. So that was uh, that was awkward. I would have boosted mine if I thought he could win the matchup. I thought I didn't think it was going to be quick enough to win there. Uh, that, was, that was hashtag orcs, my guy. Play like a meta deck, awkward. My deck is going to be real bad against this. If I boost and go in. Nice. No? Oh, close. Almost didn't get it. 
Yeah, his deck is definitely better than mine. Fucking I balk. I'm using my balker to absorb the like to, to occupy the tile so that he can't um so he can't get his missiles up against my MLRS. Ah, Borker Supremacy. Feels amazing, man. That probably is what, yeah, B-Boy. Booty Blaster Boy, for sure. What's up, B-Boy? GG, my guy. Building online. Unit ready. Ready for this guy is boss to be. Do you think this is big boss in training? He isn't playing Oxana, so I don't know if he can be big boss. Um, these bikes are quite quick. I don't think I have time to wait for an MLRS. Even though I would like to make an MLRS as my next unit. I have to keep making pit bulls for now. I actually thought I'd lose the fight on the bottom. I didn't. I won by like... I think I could have taken another bike missile as well. Let's find out. Nope, I was one bike missile away from dead. He went flamers because he just assumed. Nope, unlucky my guy, it was Rhino. <laughs> Just assumed I was going to make infantry. It's not an unreasonable assumption. But he had already seen Rhino, so... He probably could have known. Oh, let's go! Get out of my game. Objective complete. Three, two, one. New objective available. Harvester ready to collect. I have very few four minute games. I think most of my games are probably like two and a half minutes. Games were three to four and now five to six minutes. I almost never have a five to six minute game. Unless it's a two pad map. I think most of my games are probably about two and a half minutes. I don't think these like event games really are a good example though. How has he not made more missiles? How is he still making bikes? That's crazy. Here, 
Time we all playing the old school JMB. The OG JMB. <laughs> if you want to send a single bike at my heart, you crack on. Let me know how it goes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Not making as many balkers as I was hoping to. Kind of just winning with Rhino Pitbull against everything. I really hope I make a lot more balkers than this. Ah, uh, the Jordanian, my nemesis. Building online. Unit ready. Ready for action. Why are these bikes so early? Unit ready. Wheels at the ready. Yes, sir. Let my rhino arrive on the pad and there's already bikes there. Awaiting scouting. Wheels at the ready. I think he plays tank, so I probably need to go barracks. God, he already has the flamers. So far behind in money, like just crazy far behind in money. Like I couldn't make the shots and the flamers are already on the field. In position. Major structural damage received. Ready for anything. Unit ready. Awaiting orders. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to bolt this match out. God. Uh that's a yikes. Unit lost. Unit That's actually really bad for me. <laughs> that obelisk is going to be up for a while. I think I'm dead. I think that obelisk just killed me. Yeah, never have I felt so far behind in money for the entire game. I guess, like, the rhino cost as much as the bikes, but... Yeah, he just already had the like when I switched to barracks, he already had the flamers. Maybe the barracks switch was a mistake. Control. This is why I need Jeff shots. Wait, why would that be good? I could have just made rhinos against the missiles. Is what I should have done. I should have just stuck with rhino pitbull. Let me try hards in crate challenge today. Unit enhanced. Unit ready. 
It really is just such a the pitbull bike dynamic is such a grind. All right, let's get the double half and let's try and make some balkers this time because there's been very little balking. I don't know why I'm sacrificing all my pit bulls. Seems unwise. Alright, right, here we go. Let's get some balking. I would like to make another balker, but I think he's going to make Banshee, so I have to make... Oh, he just made a bunch of missiles. That's surprising. Uh, I don't remember if Jackson even boosts the reload speed. I feel like it doesn't. I don't know, though. Oh, this Borker did a lot of work, though. Even just even just the fear factor of the Borker. You are victorious. Three, two, one. New objective received. Randy PL, as in Poland. Randy from Poland. Building online. Unit ready. Ready for action. Letting his dogs go, he doesn't Unit even care. RIP doggos. Many misclicks, holy shit. Interesting that he retargets onto the pit bull. It does cost more than the rhino, but it means that you're going to get wrecked by the rhino, and then it's going to be a full hit point rhino. Now the next missile trooper will probably lose to the rhino as well. I boosted because I don't think it'll kill the missiles in time. I used to give subs and share with everyone, yeah. but Twitch went greedy mode and made the price 25% more expensive. <laughs> so I guess now only Henry will taste the sweet, sweet taste of my donations. <laughs> I have still some place to type more, so here is the time. 22.50 p.m. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> uh, Nicole saying those words was a... Uh, well, certainly something. Oh, this is a great opportunity for balking. Should definitely do some balking in this game. I could probably play a little bit more conservatively and do some uh, do some stalling if I want to balk more. This is also the first patch where I've thought that um, Orker is probably actually just OP now. Oh shit. I fuck that one up. It does give me more time for balking though, so that's quite good. Like, I've never really thought that Orker was OP before, but now it is. It is literally just in like 98% of decks. And I don't think you can have a unit that's in 98% of decks if it isn't too good. Like, it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be in every single deck in the game if it wasn't too good. Kind of the same as Banshee. Like, if everyone is playing this unit in their deck, there's a pretty, pretty reasonable chance that the unit is too good. I mean, I have. I miss our trooper, a rhino, a pit bull, and a balker, and his response was orca, orca. And he's just using the orca to kill the missiles. He's like, ah, oh, just use both the orcas to kill the missiles, it'll be fine. <laughs> uh, it is very silly. Now I have two balkers, and he's still making more orcas. And he killed my missiles with his orcas. Yeah, this is kind of what I'm talking about. Feels a little ridiculous.
Just in every deck. Yeah, Nicole is the text to speech lady. Enemy base destroyed. Three, two, one. New objective available. You got it. Druim, final boss. Let's see if we can balk Druim a bit. Building online. I don't know if Rhino Opener was a great shout. It's been fine. I think maybe I didn't need Rhino and Shocks. Like, the shocks have not been that important, really. Double halve, you say? I might go double halve as well. Not because I think it'll make me win the game, but because I think it'll make me create more balkers than if I go single halve. And that is the number one thing I want to do, is make more balkers. That was a classic start to a game of rivals. The most standard game of rivals I've ever played. Opponent meant half half, bike to your half, bike to your half. He hasn't made a unit that isn't bikes yet. Now you could say something like, ah, but Blade, you haven't made a unit that he can't kill with bikes yet, so why would he? But that's not true, because I have made many pit bulls, and as you can see, many bikes does not defeat many pit bulls. Oh, he has a Centurion already, holy shit, boys. Let's get the fuck out of here. Time to run! Run, tiny pit bulls, run! I'm gonna just go shoot the shield. There we go. Nice flamer. That would be good if I had followed up with infantry. Which you might have thought I would against the Centurion, but I did not. I simply made the Balker Balks. Now I'm gonna balk you some more, sir. Balk you so hard. Get balked, my dude. I don't know if I can kill a Cyborg with Balkers. My guess would be probably not, but I'm not certain. Let's find out. It's not looking great so far. Hey, alright, we did it. I took two Balkers, but we did kill a Cyborg with it. Not the best exchange, especially since if you consider that I actually lost both of them as well. Oh, the Widowmaker almost survived the Balker volley, but it did not. Widowmaker confirmed bitch unit. Oh no! That's a rip. Ah, Sag, man, Sag. If only Balkers weren't trash. Then I'd be doing better in this game. Let's see if I can balk my Harvester. Yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted. It's just sad that I have this Balker and have to keep switching to playing not Balker units to actually kill his units. I did say I thought it was unlikely to be a successful strategy to make double harvester. He has an avatar as well. Oh my god. This guy's like quad tech. I think perhaps I should not have gone uh, double harvester against him. Hey, what? He's made a lot of tech units this game. Like, he has made a shitload of tech units this game. Unit 
Yeah. Well, that was kind of the predicted outcome, to be honest, when I tried to go double half balkers against Tech. But I did get to make a lot of balkers, which was the primary goal. <laughs> They're so bad. He made a lot of tech units. Like, he made a lot of tech units. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the balking. It wasn't the best strategy for victory, but it was the best strategy for making more balkers. And that's the important thing. Alright, see you all next time.